Sydney! Hi, honey, we miss you! Oh, your grandmas can't be there for your celebration, but we do care about you, so we made you another video. We're so sorry we couldn't make it. We feel horrible. Terrible. Just terrible. Horrible. The traffic and the weather, they just weren't very good. No, 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 no. We don't, we don't travel well. It's all sick. But we just still wanted to show you how much we care about you. So... Well, we really just want you to remember that if you ever get bored, you can come visit us. Because we're part of the Grand Central Mall Walkers Guild, and we get some real great coupons. We can get you 10% off $50 or more JCPenney. So many coupons. We can send them in the mail. Mail. Oh, yeah. We get tons. Loads. Bad but anyway, anyway, okay, happy graduation, Sydney. We're very happy. proud. Very, very happy. Very proud. We got a few photos that we'd like to show everybody. We found them tucked away in our little albums. But uh, we'll do that, and then we'll sing a few goodbye tunes. She was the weirdest baby. How did she even get that bottle? Oh, I remember she always hated wearing clothes to fair. Someone get some clothes on that bride. Oh, thank God she went back to normal. Man, look at her sister. She looks like a spitting image of me, Agnes. Oh, the retirement Christmas party. Look at us here, Edith. We look so slim. I think that's of her and her old roommates. I wonder if they took that in Pleasantsville. It's the only place I've ever been that's black and white. Good point. Oh, God, this must have been her Moulin Rouge face. She almost gave Granny here a heart attack. Oh, look, Agnes, it's that swimsuit we bought of a spring break. You know, those were so popular in Europe. But I think she should have shaved a little bit first. Well, she really let herself go during that last spring quarter. Hygiene went right out the window. Sydney has always been supportive of uh, my career aspirations as one of the Spice Girls. Um, I do suspect on occasion that she is after my husband, David Beckham. Hold on a tick, I think I'm getting a phone call. Hello? Oh, hello, Mummy. No! I'm talking about Sydney, I gotta go. I gotta go! But yeah, she's great. Real, real great person. Well, I gotta go meet Davy. That's what I call him. Can anybody find me somebody to love? Sydney Man? Oh man, I got some good memories with that girl. We were just, I remember it was this one time, we must have been in like Red Brick or something like that. We were on Court Street and we were just fist pumping like that probably all night long. I mean, bro, it was awesome. Come on over. Come on over, baby. Come on over. Come on over, baby. Really? You had to like come during my facial time? It's on? Okay. So, like, every day of the week, Sydney and I are like, well, Sydney's like, are we pre-gaming at Becca's? And I'm like, yeah. And then we go stay at Lucky's until close. Every day of the week. Spring quarter, oh you, oh yeah. Turn around, bright eyes. Every now and then I fall apart. And I need you now, tonight. So I'm not supposed to talk about this. My psychiatrist and my attorney said it's best if I just suppress these memories. Um, but I'm still here because I want to stand strong against Sydney. This one time, Sydney walks out of the Smiling Skull wearing this leather jacket with fringes, and that should have been my first sign to skedaddle. I'm walking on sunshine. Whoa! I'm walking on sunshine. Whoa! And don't it feel? And don't it feel? And don't it feel good? 
she purposely stalked me around campus and purposely ruined my stuff. Seriously? I think one of my worst memories of all is the time she threw a bee's nest on me. And she even knows I'm allergic. She used my house for drug trafficking and the police came and arrested me. Uh, I went to jail for a couple weeks. Uh, it wasn't very fun. It was pretty scary in there. Take me home, country road, to the place I belong, West Virginia, Mountain Mama. Take me home, country roads. So drunk. I mean, she was like, I'm so drunk. And I was like, ha ha, you're so drunk. And she was like, bleh, bleh. Hey, I just met you, and this is crazy. <laughs> well, here's my number. Call me. Maybe. <laughs> I think the coolest thing I've ever seen Sydney do is one time some girl tried to steal her mug at Lucky's, and Sydney went absolutely crazy, and she, like, threw a, a bee's nest on this girl. I guess she was, like, allergic or whatever, but... It was pretty cool. All right, Sydney, we got one more final piece of advice for you. This is our life motto. Don't stop believing. You hold on to that feeling. Straight white people. Whoa.